Hey, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most compassionate, the most merciful, all the praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings. Be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he who is guided by the will of Allah, no one can misguide him, and he who is misguided, no one can guide him except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. A few minutes ago, we explained a very beautiful Qudsi hadith where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man adali waliyan faqad adhantu bil harb. The one who decides to declare his enmity against my awliya, let him know that I'm declaring war against him. So by this, Allah is stating clearly that there is a group of people whom Allah called them awliya. And Allah is stating clearly as well that those awliya, in case if someone decided to be an enemy for them, Allah is declaring war against him or her. So the question which will come by default to the mind, Ya Allah, how can I be from those? So that I deserve Allah to protect me to a degree. Allah will declare the war if anyone decided to be my enemy. It's an amazing status. How? Then Allah explains how the one can be from those awliya in stages. Stage number one, because there is nothing that will bring my servant closer to me more than doing the obligatory things that I have decided upon them. Nothing will be, bring you closer to Allah more than that do the furud and the no, which means you practice and you commit yourself to the rulings that Allah has decided upon you. This is number one. So, number two, After you do the fard, after you stop doing haram things, after you stop, uh, you insist on in doing the uh, obligatory things, next step, you do the additional things, which is not fard, which is not compulsory, and you keep continuing to do this, this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such as voluntary work, doing the khair, the sadaqah, helping the needy people. It's not fard on every people to, to stay all the time in these things. It's not compulsory, but it's highly recommended. So when I finish the compulsory things, and I started doing the high recommended things for the sake of Allah, for a time period which is open, no one knows for how long, but it depends on my sincerity, till Allah loves me. If Allah loved me, it's a metaphorical expression, which means Allah will empowering him, Allah will support his sight, his hearing, his power, his hand, which means Allah will give him full support in an amazing way that we can't explain how and these things will happen. He will be completely guided by the support of Allah, by the power of Allah, by the, the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, this is the meaning of the hadith. And then I ex explained another hadith where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says, in Allah, idha habba abdan, if Allah loved the person, he will ask Jibreel, he will call Jibreel and say, Ya Jibreel, I love this person, so love him. So Jibreel will be commanded by Allah to love a specific person. Then Jibreel, فَيُنَادِي Jibreel فِي مَلَائِكَةِ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ Jibreel will be calling amongst all the angels of the earth and the heavens, which could be by millions, billions, trillions, Allah knows what is their number. All of them, they will be commanded, compulsory, love this person. فَيُوضَعُ لَهُ الْقَبُولُ فِي الْأَرْضِ Now, Al-Qabool literally means acceptance. Acceptance will be laid down on earth for him. This is a general word means all kind of easiness, open, uh, all, all doors will be completely open. He will be accepted wherever he goes. Love him, yes. Respect him, yes. <laughs> doors are open. Always there's an, an amazing status for this person, the heart of the people and on the ground, in a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala controls. When Allah loves a person, this is part of what will happen to him. How Allah loves a person, we go back to hadith number one. There's nothing that will bring person more than doing the compulsory thing. Then do the highly recommended things till Allah loves you. The equation is so simple, it's not complicated. 
it's like telling you, for example, you have a test. The conditions of the test, one, two, three, four. By the end of the test, if you pass the exam and you achieved the such and such marks, we promise you that we will give you a full scholarship, best university for the rest of your life, full support money, a new car, it will be renewed each year, it will help you in your marriage, give you a very nice house, all of your medical you know, insurance will be completely covered. But just sit for the exam now. And this is a curriculum, need these pages, do it, sit for the exam. Okay, it's not easy, but the, 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 the gift that you will be having after this test is amazing. It deserves to suffer a lot for a great effort. So this is in our you know, materialistic calculations in our videos. What about if the gift will be Al Jannah, which is in eternal happiness under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help all, all of us to be from those. Allahumma naka'afu wa tuhibbu al-afwa. Fa'afu anna ya kareem. Allahumma ameen. Jazakum Allahu khairan.